Did Adam and Eve really exist? I've heard this question a lot from deconstructing evangelicals, and please don't be shocked, but the story of Adam and Eve is just that, a story, an illustration. We can find some Christian perspectives that will try to argue the opposite, that Adam and Eve did exist and did populate the earth all on their own, but scientists have proven that it is biologically, mathematically, and genetically impossible for only two people to give rise to, and let alone maintain, a genetically healthy population that consists of billions of descendants without going extinct due to all sorts of genetic defects and birth defects caused by massive inbreeding over time. Evolutionarily speaking, there is no such thing as the first human. Evolu evolution is such an immensely gradual process that every individual of every generation was, is, and will always be an ever so unnoticeably modified version of what its parents were. Scientists can't pinpoint the exact moment that human beings existed. But this doesn't make the story of Adam and Eve or the story of God any less significant. The story of, an, of Adam and Eve is a nice story and a description of God's care in creating our planet. But I believe that science and all the details of evolution and creation itself are special far more fascinating than the story of Adam and Eve. The vast details of God's creation from the smallest microorganism to the estimated two trillion galaxies believed to exist speak far greater to God's beauty, creation, and detail than any story confined to a belief system. The more we learn about the details that make up our planet, galaxy, and universe, and the more that we learn about how these systems are continuing to evolve, the more we can see the intricacies of God and how God allows our story, the universe's story, and God's story to continue to evolve.